Yes. Hey guys, I'm checking in. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe at High Tea and Happy Hour. I'm a lifetime blogger, lifestyle blogger. <clears throat> um, educated designer in interior design and sustainable design and a foodie. So if you have been following on this journey, past video, I told you guys that I was suffering through a miscarriage. Um, after I made that video yesterday, it was just has been like, I mean, even making that video was hard, but yesterday was a nightmare with the cramping and bleeding that cramping is continuing today. Bleeding is like subsiding a little bit, but it's still pretty heavy. Um, but it's down to like a normal period now. Um, but the cramping is still crazy. Um, to the point where, like, I haven't been in the shower for a couple of days. I know that sounds disgusting, but I just don't have the energy to stand. Like, even with the medicine standing, it's just unbearable or becomes unbearable. Um, and it just brings on cramps for a long time. And um, I've been using all my energy just to get up, go to the bathroom, lay back down, and then just suffer through the waves of cramping that kind of feels like contracting um, every so often. So yeah, I'm still suffering through this. It's now on June 24th, so about two days after I passed the set. Um, like it's just it's just very frustrating because like when you Google stuff, people are like, oh yeah, you know, cramping and bleeding at its height should be like just a few hours afterwards, and then you should just be bleeding. And I'm just like still suffering from like this crazy cramping that's just so frustrating to have to take medicine every few hours for um it's almost 11 a.m i haven't taken medicine yet today just because maurice is out the house he's been training all morning and i just don't have the energy to just get up gather the medicine gather something to drink which i drank the water that was by the bed um Stipulating that 30% and then, you know, get myself together. So I've kind of just been in bed, suffering through the waves. When I woke up, they weren't as bad. Like, I was, I had to even text Maurice because he was like, oh, you know, get order the stronger medicine. So by the time I get there, I could just bring it up. And I had to text him, like, you know, it got better overnight. I guess as my body fully woke up, so to the cramps. Um, a young girl in Rwanda doesn't feel that. So, um, I just been suffering through what, like I said, what feels like just contractions coming every so often. But, like, just at this point, I'm just like frustrated and tired. I'm just like so tired of like the pinks, like I said, like. Even with the paint color, it's like, it's still, like, period, menstrual level cramps. So it's not like, I'm not feeling anything, which is just annoying to just be having this be my day for three days in a row now. It's just very frustrating <clears throat> to be in this situation because, like, obviously you can't go to the beach today. Like, we have basketball tryouts for our new basketball organization tomorrow, and I'm hoping, like, praying that I'm better by tomorrow so I can at least be well enough to be present for that. I have so many things to do this weekend, and it's just, like, for this to still be where I'm at, it's, like, very frustrating, like... I can't even tell you how frustrated I am. And Very just like immensely sad to still uh, favors, be reminded that this is where I am in this moment. In many different settings where 
I just want to feel <clears throat> to be operating in a more normal state right now, but my body is telling me no. So that just can't be where I am right now. And it's like I had to text Maurice, like, you know, when are you coming back from your training? So it's like. I don't even feel like a competent mother to my child who was here because I can't get out of bed. Like, can't make sure she she's eating well. I mean, she's very independent, so I know she warmed herself up something to eat. We had leftovers or made herself something to eat because she knows how to, you know, work around the kitchen pretty well. But I can't even be a part of what's going on out there because I'm in like so much pain. Women have every right to be mothers without being Which is very frustrating. And even like, it feels, I guess it's even more frustrating too because I've been through this before in like two different ways. Like the first time, it was, um, I miscarried, but they had to go in and get the remains out themselves so like it wasn't such a long recovery time especially not like so much pain and the second time i think that that was like earlier on in the stages so like it went by pretty quickly um so i guess yeah another frustration is just I just didn't see this recovery or this process coming. Like I didn't see me still being in bed on this Friday a possibility. Like I couldn't take my daughter to her tennis lesson yesterday because this is where I am. So one thing I can say is that I am trying to stay positive minded even through the pain even through not being able to do anything that's on my list trying I can say I had my phone on D&D &D a lot just trying to block out all things that can like distract me from just focusing on being better my social medias are still deleted um, so that allow me to like when I have a thought pop into my head when I'm in the right physical mindset I just you know jot things down in my notes or research and look further into it but this is where I am um, but yeah, I just wanted to check back in and give y'all an update on what's happening and the situation that it is still. Um, I'll check back in with you all. Um, if anything else pops up or changes, but as of June 24th, I'm still um, suffering through the cramping and the aftermath of this miscarriage. And yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. So I'll check back in another day or another time. So it's just like a bunch of things I feel like are just like collapsing. And it's putting me in a bad space in my head. So I was like, let me get up and do something.